Okay, I want to talk to you, talk to you about uh, five things. When we hear that uh, the plan is consistent, the development is consistent with the plan, not only are they talking about the land use plan, which is right here, they're also talking about the comprehensive plan, which is this right here. The land use plan is folded in and is a component of the land use plan. And the inconsistencies are all illustrated on the comprehensive plan as described by Michael Wilson. Okay, number two. There are 20 sites, the handout that you just received, there's 20 sites marked with an asterisk on the land use plan. There are approximately, there's about evenly split, 10 on the north side, 10 on the south side of Kingston Pike. One is already under construction, the Overlook. The second one is the one off of Smith Road. <clears throat> if you all approve this rezoning, It'll, it'll really set a dangerous precedent for those other 18 sites because this proposal is not consistent with the plan. Now, Mr. John said, talked about property rights, Bill Johns. <clears throat> Mr. Horn has every right. He's not being denied his property rights. He has every right to develop his property consistent with the existing zoning. The purpose of zoning, the text and the map, remember, is to implement the comprehensive plan, okay? And that's why it says the site plan has to be consistent. It has to be in compliance with the uh, comprehensive plan. <clears throat> now, please don't forget, please, as George mentioned, you all denied, denied with a capital D, the proposed R6 zoning on Grigsby Chapel Road. Thank God. It's right across from Wyndham Hall. Okay? Now, TDK Construction out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, proposed those 230 plus units. They withdrew once you denied. So what did they do? They immediately went to downtown Knoxville, acquired five acres, and what are they doing now? They're building 238 loft apartment units with 350 spaces and one or two bedrooms. That's where they belong, ladies and gentlemen. They belong downtown in Knoxville, and they belong downtown in the mixed-use town center that you and the Board of Mayor and Aldermen adopted. And you adopted the comprehensive plan and the land use plan. That's your policy. You adopted it by resolution. The Board of Mayor and Aldermen and the Planning Commission adopted <clears throat> the mixed-use town center by ordinance. Now, my understanding that during this current year, 2015-2016, Community Development Department will undertake an update to the land use plan and the major road plan. This needs to receive a lot of scrutiny because you can see on these 18 sites we really look at to need and see by the sub areas, are these appropriate for this development? Thank you very much.